Hey everyone, so today I am going to be doing my second hair review and before I get started I just want to give a huge thanks to all of you who actually sat and watched both of my Senegalese videos. Um, if you missed it, you can go back or I'll link it somewhere here. But I did two videos, two reviews on my Senegalese twist that I had over the summer. Those videos, specifically the first one, um, and the blog post for the first one are the most like looked at items on my channel and on my blog site. Like literally, people till this day are still looking at, you know, viewing that video and also reading the blog post. So I just want to thank you all because you guys have been emailing me, you have been commenting on the video, you have been commenting on my blog post. And it's just like, man, you know, I made that video months ago, almost like a year ago. So um, I definitely want to give thanks because I haven't done that, I don't believe, in any video since then. So thank you so much. One thing I didn't do is I didn't tell you all the brand of hair that I use. That's like the number one question. A lot of people can tell that I didn't use the jumbo braid hair, which is like, I, it's just not the hair I want to use. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go to the beauty supply store where I purchased my Senegalese twist hair from and try to get it packed so I can show you all what that what type of hair it is because that's the question people keep asking me like your hair looks so smooth what hair do you have in your hair so um, I'll definitely try to do that you know within one of my next videos so yeah I'm like out of breath I haven't filmed in God knows how long <sighs> okay so today I'm going to be doing my hair review on clip-ins. Now the clip-ins I'm going to be talking about today are the only clip-ins I've ever worn in my hair. Okay, so I forgot to even bring the box over here. I'm like really excited to be filming videos again because, okay, sidebar, I haven't really been motivated to do any blog posts or make videos like since my last video and it's just for various reasons why I haven't been motivated so right now I'm motivated and I'm happy to be filming okay so back to what I was saying um these clip-ins are the first clip-ins and the only clip-ins that I have ever worn um and I felt like these clip-ins really deserved a review okay so the ones that I was wearing like back from my birthday I want to say from my birthday up until um, I want to say probably like January or February are these Lord and Cliff clip-ins I got the seven piece pack I hope you can see it the lighting is kind of bad um, and the color I got was 1B and supposedly this is 100% human Remy hair yeah, and this is what the entire pack looks like. Chick on the front showing you how to install. Um, and it also teaches you how to install them on the back of the packet. So the Lauren Cliff clip-ins comes, um, like I said, I, I got the seven piece. They do have a two piece pack, a six piece pack, a seven piece pack, and possibly a 10 piece pack. I'm not really for sure. Um, and I really don't, I thought I had the slit that tells you um, oh, what the heck. But yeah, so this is what the, the pack looks like. You can get these off of Amazon for about between like $50 and $80, like the seven piece pack. I really wish that I did that. But let's just do a little background. Okay, so if you've been watching my channel for a while or if you've watched the couple of hair videos that I've done, then you know that I do have eczema on my scalp. So I've not, I haven't always been a fan of sew-ins. Okay, I have. I just haven't been because I wasn't able to wear them for a while because I was really trying to like treat my scalp because this is a sew-in. This is sewn in to my braids. Um, and prior to getting sew-ins, I decided once I took out my Senegalese twist that I was going to try clip-ins because I had been watching, um, you know, different women on YouTube talk about clip-ins. And with like anything in the world, there's always the good and the bad. So it wasn't like, there isn't, there hasn't been one brand that I've came across where people were like, yes, 100% you should buy these. 
So I went to the hair store because my birthday was coming up and I said that I really wanted to wear some clip-ins instead of, you know, a half wig, which is what I had been wearing. So I went to my local hair store, actually the same hair store where I got my Senegalese hair, and they really didn't have like a huge selection of clip-ins, so I was just like, We're, what clip-ins are purchased the most? And that's when they pointed to the Lord and Cliff clip-ins. And they were like, oh, really great, really great, you should get these. And I'm just like, you know, it's my birthday, and I just want my hair to look really nice, and I really don't have the time to get sewn in and set up an appointment. So I figured, you know, with clip-ins, I could take them out every night, wash my hair once a week like I'm supposed to, and go, go on about my life. So I ended up purchasing these from the hair store. At the hair store that I went to, they cost $129.99. And I was like, I don't care. I just really wanted new hair. So I got a 1B. My hair is not a 1B. My hair is a, is a very beautiful, awkward color brown. But the number two in, in the um, Lord Clip Clippings is way too, uh, way too brown for my hair. My hair is like a dark brown. Um, so I ended up getting a 1B. I mean, it was better than the two. So the man was like, you know... The first day I did purchase the two, got home, realized the two was too brown, went back the next day, got the 1B. So when I first got the hair, the hair was beautiful. It was, you know, silky black and just soft and wonderful and full. Um, and I only got one pack because I really didn't know if I needed two or not. So, you know, I really, I really did enjoy the hair when I first bought it. I will say that much. Um, like I said, the packaging was nice. The hair came very soft, very silky, bone straight. Um, when I buy straight extensions, I want my hair to be bone straight. And that's how the hair comes. So, with that being said, I'm going to break down the video to two parts. The first part, I'm going to let you know what I think felt what I feel is good about the hair. So this is the hair today. Mind you, I bought the hair back in September. This is 18 inches. They do have, um, this is the longest they go. I'm lying. 20 inches is the longest they go. Um, and this is an 18 inch because I just got the 18 inch. Um, and this is, they're all bunched together tied with a little band. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell you what I feel is good about the clip-ins. Okay, so what I like about the Lauren Cliff clip-ins is that, you know, it's cool for first-time beginners like myself. You know, I never wore, you know, had worn clip-ins before and I was in a rush. I just wanted something nice for my birthday. Um, they're really, really easy to get your hands on. They're available in a lot of beauty supply stores, even Sally's, um, local beauty supply stores. I see them pretty often in the beauty supply stores I've been in. The price does vary, like I said. Amazon, you can get them $50 to $80. My local hair store was $129.99 for 18 inches. Um, it's decent for thin hair. Like a pack, one pack is good. I think will be enough volume for someone that has thin hair. Um, I don't have thin hair, so I actually felt like I should have got two packs um, in the beginning. Like when I installed into my hair, I was like, uh, this isn't enough, you know, because I, I have like pretty big hair. Um, and then another thing that I felt, uh, like I said before, it's super soft. Like when you first purchase the hair, it's beautiful, it's soft, it's straight. Um, and it, it just, you know, it's for the most part, the hair is good for the first two weeks. Then after that comes the bad. Okay, so things that I dislike about the clip-ins, um, this hair does not hold curl well. Like, I don't care if you're using flexi rods, if you're using curling irons, flat irons, heat, heatless, the hair does not hold a curl. I would curl my hair at noon and the curls would fall by 1230. Like the only way I could get curls to hold in this hair is if I was to spritz the hell out of the hair. So and then, then the hair would be crunchy and I'd walk around with like stiff curls and it just no. Um also by when you like flat iron the hair, it also dries out the hair and the hair loses its softness and it becomes brittle. Um, 
also with using heat on the hair the ends split really bad um this hair after and like, this is i just want to make a disclaimer this is after two weeks what it's like the two week mark the hair just went ham so the hair sheds that was like my first number one pet peeve about this hair this hair sheds so freaking bad it's unbelievable and i'm going to insert a couple of pictures to show you how bad this hair sheds and i mean and i know how to comb hair whether it's my hair or extensions you know you start from the bottom and you make your way up into the root this hair is it just shed it horribly i mean i could be chilling eating popcorn in the movies and like where am I? I could just go like this and like five strands would just come out. And it's just like, what the hell? You know, and I always get so nervous when like one of my homegirls would be like, girl, your hair is so pretty. And then just be like 10 strands in their hand. Like, what is that? Um, uh, my second pet peeve about this hair, which I really didn't think this was going to happen within the first two weeks because it didn't. Um, this hair tangles. It tangles so bad. And I'm not just talking back here in the back of your neck like most weave does. This doesn't, thank God. Um, but it tangles everywhere. Everywhere. And I had found myself constantly combing this hair out throughout the day. It became so bad. I had to like purchase a little small um, like little paddle brush. You know the kind with the mirror attached. I mean that's how tangled this hair got. I, w I would find myself at work in the middle of like talking to clients like yeah girl you know like detangling my hair because this hair tangles so much. I mean it's tangling right. I had to comb it out before I even got this video together. Um, another thing about the hair is um, poor choice of clips. I feel like the clips which are typical clips for clip-ins but some clip-ins do come like the um the clip-ins that grip your hair really well these don't this this hair actually comes with like basic clip-ins as you can see here um as you can see the hair is attached to like a a big band <clears throat> which is probably why it shed it so bad. Um, but yeah, I felt like you really did have to like tease your roots in order for this hair, I mean, in order for the clips to like stay in your hair. So t when I would like freshly relax my hair, I really couldn't wear these until like my roots became, you know, grew out and became kinky because the clips would like slide and it was like really bad in the front like the front smaller clip ins those would be the ones that would like slide out um when my hair was like freshly relaxed <clears throat> um after i felt like after a while the hair did get oily really fast and i, I try not to wear clip ins or extensions when my roots need to be washed but I did feel like this, the area where the clips are, did really get oily. Um, when I did shampoo this hair, I shampooed it in cold water only. And I, real, I, I would realize when I would shampoo the hair, a lot of the dye would come off the hair. So I would see like black, you know, mixed in with the water. And I'm like, what the hell? You know, I'm using cold water. I wouldn't think that something like that would happen. So even with, you know, shampoo and conditioning it, the hair never really got back to like its natural softness. And like I said, like you would see like black come off in the sink. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I just, I watched other videos on YouTube about this hair and I think it was the only videos you can find on this hair is like by the actual owner. Um, and of course she's going to say the hair is fabulous. but. I wouldn't recommend this hair to anyone. Um, like I said, my biggest problems were the hair tangled and shed it really bad, as you saw by the pictures. Another thing I noticed when I did shampoo the hair um, the first time, and I just let the clip-ins air dry. When I put the clip-ins in my hair, the hair actually blew up throughout the day. I don't know if you've ever like washed weave, and the hair just kind of like expanded throughout the day. Um, and it would like bunch up really bad back here. So like the the same day, I, like I would have to like wash my hair again or at least just put it in water and take my blow dryer, put the brush uh, clip on and actually like brush the hair, dry it with the brush tip. Um, <clears throat> and that's like the only way I could get the hair to lay flat. But by air drying, the hair would just expand throughout the day. Um, and then also, which I'll show like an in-depth uh, clip, 
uh, the way the hair sheds, it doesn't sh break off by like the actual weft. It breaks off like a centimeter before it gets to the weft, which I think is so weird and you probably can't see it. But the hair, you see the little pieces, like short pieces? The hair doesn't break off like right here. It breaks off like a, like a half an inch before the weft. So I thought that was really weird. Um, and look, it's tangling. Like I'm not even doing much, and the hair is tangling. Um, but it's just it just wasn't a great experience. Like after a while, the hair would start to detach itself from the actual clip. So I found myself at times having to sew the hair back to the clip. Or sometimes if I got too lazy, I would just like actually use hot glue, um, hot glue gun, and just glue the hair back to the clip. But all in all, like I just wouldn't. I wouldn't it's shedding again I just wouldn't recommend this these clippings to anyone I mean it was just a bad experience for me I actually left a comment on the YouTube of the lady that shows you how to like curl the hair and install the hair and like everyone on the comment list was like this hair sucks blah 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 and even on Amazon and I'm usually really good at looking at videos and reading reviews before I purchase something but like I said I was just really eager because it was my birthday and I just wanted new hair but that is my review on the Lord and Clip Clippins. And I didn't use any products on this hair. I specifically shampooed and conditioned every blue moon. I used only cold water because I didn't want the hot water to strip the hair of its softness or if it's color and still the cold water method didn't work. Um, I did use sulfate free shampoo and conditioner and the hair just still turned out horrible. Um, and the only reason why I still have the hair is because I really didn't want to do this video for you all. Yeah, that sums it up for this video. Um, I hope I gave you some insight. If, you, if you've if you been looking at these clip-ins, Keisha says no. So I'm going to leave on that note, and I will see you all next time. Bye.